Hello, I'm Charles. Let's look at what happened to the catalytic converter of my Honda Accord. I started my car and suddenly there was a very loud noise. The exhaust and engine lights were all on. What the hell? I looked around the car and saw two screws on the ground. The exhaust pipe was cut. My God! The catalytic converter was stolen. I just parked my car in front of my garage. The catalytic converter was stolen. I did not hear anything. Neither did my neighbors. I called the police, and the police told me they won't come to investigate this kind of thing because uh, so many catalytic converters stolen in San Francisco Bay Area. What a damn shame. I have no way but to fix it. I looked into how to repair it. At first, I called the insurance. The insurance cannot pay me to fix it because I do not have a comprehensive coverage. Then I called the car dealer. The car dealer told me to repair it for about $4,000 to $5,000. If I only buy original parts for $2,900, I called a couple of auto repair shops, and the price range is about $3,000 to $5,000 with aftermarket parts. The reason why it is so expensive is there are not many parts meet the California emission standard, the highest standard in the world. Generally speaking, cheap parts do not meet the California standards. Therefore, the alternative parts are extremely limited and expensive. If you use a part that does not meet the California standards or meet the California standards but not in its official part list, even meets the federal standards, and you will not be able to pass the California smoke test, and you will not get your California plate renewed. A lot of hassle, isn't it? Let me share with you what I did to find the aftermarket parts, where to buy, installation, and finally pass the smoke test. First of all, you need to know the engine family number your car belongs to. Open the hood. The EFN engine family number is located under the hood on the vehicle emissions control information label. It displays the engine family number and the ARB, Air Resources Board. EFN for this car is 5HNXV02.4ECV. The ARB is SULEV. Based on the EFN and ARB, you can find the part number from California Vehicle website. Go to Ask the Ref, A S K T H E R E F dot org. Then Job List, select Stolen Catalytic Converters. Then go to the EFN section. The ARB is S U L E V. The EFN ending with 4 ECV. Then you can find the what part is in this list. You can find the part number, executive orders, and manufacturer information. Even more information about installation like direct fit means you do not need weld together. You just need to bolt on. In this website, and you can also find uh, 
where to make appointment with the referee to verify your installation. After you install your aftermarket parts, and you need to call this number and to make appointment with the referee for verification. Let's turn to parts. Uh, since I already bought these parts, so I show you what the parts you need and where to buy cheaper and faster. The most important parts is the catalytic converter. And from here, you can see the converter with direct fit. On the top, you need these two screws and the O-ring and the exhaust pipe and this o-ring fit into this exhaust pipe then along the y exhaust pipe and you go to the flexible point in this pipe there is a hole and we need the O2 sensor. So this is uh, called uh, upstream O2 sensor. You can easily get this O2 sensor from uh, auto parts store. And this exhaust pipe, and you can get it from uh, online. It's cheaper and faster. This is uh, the flexible point and the hanger and the hanger is to uh, hold the flexible pipe. This exhaust pipe is flexible direct fit. You just uh, bolt onto together and uh, this is the gasket between pipes. The most important and expensive part is this catalytic converter and this is a direct fit and you can see part number and executive orders. The part number is 82895. The EO number is D18284. The part number is from uh, the official listing askthereff.org and it is a direct fit, just bold them together. And this catalytic converter also has a hole to hold the O2 sensor, downstream O2 sensor. Downstream O2 sensor. Since the catalytic converter uses a high, very high temperature and to burn the exhaust air, so the O2 sensor is generally is bigger and larger. You also need a second uh, gasket between cat and resonator. The resonator is a, a direct fit. If not, you have to cut and weld them together. And direct fit is much easier. You just bolt them together. Use a bolt. I can cut here and bolt them together and using the existing resonator. Since uh, the resonator is not very expensive, so we use the whole resonator. And connect the muffler with the resonator at the end. And you can buy this resonator easily from a general uh, auto parts store. That is all the parts you need for your project. And the most important and difficult one is about the catalytic converter. That's very expensive. Most of the stores uh, don't have this uh, catalytic converter. So, mm, Sometimes you need to talk to them and let them to find for you. And that's what I did. And I'm, I got this uh, catalytic converter from 
Napa Auto Parts. It did not have stock, but I talked to the manager, led him to find for me, and uh, actually, he got this uh, catalytic converter from a store in Ohio. In terms of cost, and all of them together cost me about fifteen hundred dollars. It is not difficult to assemble them together, and you can see O2 sensor, downstream O2 sensor, and you have to connect through a hole under the、uh, front passenger seat. And then hanger them together. Also, the back hanger. Very easy. Just insert this hanger to the hole holder. And also the front upstream O2 sensor. The rest are both on together. To install O2 sensors, you can borrow a tool from a auto parts store, and it's free. And use these tools and to install and screw on the O2 sensors. That is all for this video. In my next video, I will show you how to install in detail. Please stay tuned. I have hundreds of videos in many aspects of American life. Please subscribe and share with your friends. Your help is very much appreciated. Thank you.